Hello and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events. Thank you so much for coming here to the Arkansas Weather Blog by the tens, almost hundreds of thousands now, just over the past couple of days. I cannot thank you enough. It means so much to know that you get your weather information uh, from here on the Arkansas Weather Blog, something I started back in uh, 2006. It's been a long time. I'm sure you want to know about the latest um, I'm going to share with you some thoughts just on the overall big picture and where I stand and where I have stood for quite some time is the fact that I just I don't have much in the way of changes. As I, If you've been following along on the blog, I've said from all along, yeah, the models say this, but history tells us this. So we need to really watch for the fact that the ice could get a lot further south than what the models are saying. And, and um, I still not sold on the idea of snow in central Arkansas at all. <clears throat> maybe at the tail end, but I'm, I have serious doubts about that. I really think the main problem will be ice. And I'm very confident, I'm recording this uh, early Wednesday afternoon, but I'm very confident an ice storm warning will be issued for portions of central northern Arkansas. I'm also very confident that the temperatures in Little Rock uh, and point south, or northward I mean, points northward especially, but in Little Rock, the sub-freezing air will arrive early Friday morning, give or take an hour on the either an hour or two on either side of sunrise on Friday morning. I would, if I had to, you know, if this was Vegas and I had to put bets on it, I'd say earlier than sunrise, just maybe a tad bit earlier than sunrise. That's when the plain cold rain turns into freezing rain uh, and hopefully sleet. Don't want freezing rain. What about the rest of Friday morning? Well, the temperature is going to be, I'd say, Friday morning for the first few hours, around 30 to 32. That would cause minimal problems on the roads, trees, uh, bridges, overpasses, uh, but the trees and the power lines would begin to glaze over. Fast forward to later Monday morning, late Monday morning and into the afternoon, that's when I think the temperatures start to get into the 20s for where you could start getting problems on the roadways. Again, this is Wednesday, this is Friday, this is my thinking right now. But as the temperatures cool into the 20s, that's when you start to really see the roadway problems develop. Now, as that precipitation continues to come down and the roads start to ice up, that's when it's going to end. I really think that the precipitation will come to an end by early afternoon, at least we're hoping, early afternoon on Friday. So. You're, you're looking at a deterioration of conditions during the morning, and then it should stop by the afternoon, and temperatures will continue to fall. So that's my thinking in the Little Rock area. You live north of Little Rock, it's going to happen much sooner. In northwest Arkansas, it'll happen as early as tomorrow. Uh, later on tomorrow afternoon is when you're really going to start to get in some ice in northwest Arkansas. Southern Arkansas, you will have a transition to freezing rain, but it will be later Friday morning and into the afternoon. And uh, we are expecting some problems, but m probably n nothing to the degree that we're going to have further towards the north. Now, with all of that said, what I'm really hoping for is that the air is cold enough and deep enough from the ground up that it's sleet. That's our best case scenario. Sleet does cause driving problems, just like freezing rain, but sleet does not collect on trees and power lines. That's our best case scenario. Will that happen? It's very tough to tell right now, but it's at least a possibility. Then the next round comes in Saturday night into Sunday. This round will target uh, areas especially south and east of Little Rock. That will target areas again south and east of Little Rock with freezing rain. We'll get more in Little Rock, but the heaviest will be across south and eastern sections of the state. It will not be as heavy as the Friday round, but it will be significant enough to cause headaches. Fast forward to next week. Some of the, if the, if the computer models are right, again, this is not a forecast yet. If, if the computer models are right, we're looking at the coldest temperatures in years for much of the state. I'll show you that in the models in just a second. If the computer models are correct. We're talking about the coldest air since possibly 1996, when Little Rock, that was the last time we got into the single digits for lows. All right, computer model data. We're gonna start you off with a European followed up by a GFS. 
uh, I and others would like to call the Goofus model, global forecasting system. Love the European. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm using the European surface temperatures. Uh, and I think that's where you have to go with this because there's some other weird things about it, but I'm not going to get into uh, the stuff that bores you. Uh, this is going to be tomorrow afternoon, Thursday afternoon at noon, straight up noon. Fronts through the state. It's getting cold here in Little Rock. None of the 70s. It's gone. Um, it's not to freezing yet. The Ozarks, there it is, bottling up the cold air right there, although it's a little further south. That's the dark blue line. Whatever you see north of that dark blue line, that's below freezing. This light blue line is the 35 degree line, and you're looking at precipitation over the previous six hours. So you can see the precipitation here. All right. So tomorrow, much different day, colder. Uh, so there we go. This is, I'm just making sure I got all of my times right. All right, so Friday afternoon, Thursday afternoon, Thursday afternoon. This is at 6. It's already close to 35 degrees in Little Rock. The freezing line is in northern Faulkner County, near Russellville, just north of Russellville. And it's over the higher elevations, especially of western Arkansas, Mena, Queen Wilhelmina, Waldron, Scott County. Moving into northeast Arkansas, look at the precipitation. This is the target area, west central Arkansas, in this area. This is the target area for the highest impact for uh, the winter weather. All right, I hope everybody got that. Now we're going to go uh, into tomorrow between 6 p.m. and uh, Friday at 12 a.m., so midnight. The freezing line is in western Pulaski County. All of this is ice right in here. All of this is ice. Southern Arkansas, it's cooling down, but you're, you're all right at this point. It's a cold rain. All right, here we go. Another round of precipitation is going to develop Friday morning. See it out here? Here it comes. We are now below freezing in Little Rock. The 32-degree the line is uh, near Arkadelphia, south of Pine Bluff, south of Stuttgart. Here comes this next round. It's showing four tenths to half an inch of liquid. Not all of that will be freezing rain. Some of that will be. Possibly half of it. Possibly. Between, okay, this next round, according to the Euro, is going to target central northern Arkansas, that, that round Friday morning and into the early afternoon, another three-tenths of an inch of frozen precipitation in Little Rock, another four-tenths of an inch up north. Again, this is the target area close to Little Rock, but just north and west of Little Rock. That's your target area for the highest impact for winter weather. That doesn't, I, I'm, I still think we're going to get it further south. But all I'm saying is, when you look at this, when all is said and done, everybody will say, that was the area that got impacted the greatest. That's what you know we think right now. That could always change. And then things start to taper off and move away. And then there's the next event. Uh, this is Sunday morning. The freezing line is here. So again, this is the corridor south and eastern Arkansas. Uh, this is the corridor that I'm concerned about with uh, Saturday night and into Sunday. Now I got to go back here. Forgive me for one second as I look at, I'm going to pull up the temperatures here according to the European about the cold weather next week. We don't get above freezing for several days. Uh, I'm going through, get close on Sunday, but that's not going to happen. Uh, Monday, this is what I want to show you. If the European is right, this is uh, some of the coldest temperatures we've ever seen. In many years, this is Tuesday morning. Next Tuesday morning, below zero in the white. Actual air temperature in Little Rock, four degrees. Yeah, I just said that, four degrees. We warm up to a balmy 23 or so. Wednesday morning, it says it's going to be three degrees in, throughout much of central Arkansas. Hey, but at least we're uh, the temperatures are going to be uh, above zero, barely above the north, except for these small po pockets, so whew, getting warmer. If that happens, I, I've got a little bit of a doubt about that, but you know, that's been pretty consistent about that. GFS, we'll go through that. This is Thursday, very uh, much like the G, uh, the Euro. They are a little different, but late Thursday, uh, this is 6 p.m., the purple is freezing rain, the peach oranges is sleet. Freezing rain at midnight, getting into central Arkansas. Freezing rain by 6 a.m., getting into central Arkansas, and so is the sleet. I hope it's more sleet than anything. Uh, you can see by noon, it's encompassing all of central and northern Arkansas, even portions of southern Arkansas. This is uh, ending by late in the day on Friday. Stay with us here on the Arkansas Weather Blog for the latest information. Facebook and Twitter as well. Look me up. 
Thank you again for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.